The Fly Super Bar in leather is the current fit to box face bar head guard champion. And this in synthetic leather, the X line version, is just over half the price of this one. Surely this one will take the title. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. I'm Simon and I run this channel to give you as much information as I can about different boxing gear so you can make the best decision when it comes to boxing gear for you. I'm a full time boxing trainer, former amateur boxer and today I've got the two head guards here, the face bars in leather from Fly which is the super bar and then I've also got the X line from Fly which again, another super bar, but this one is synthetic leather. Okay, so as mentioned just earlier, this one is just over half the price of the leather version. I'm going to show you both versions and then you can decide which one you would go for if you was to buy them. So for me, the price in itself means that this potentially is a champion in waiting because of the value for money that you get with this head guard which is essentially the same head guard it's the same size it's got the same vision it's got the same protection the only difference is the material that it is made from so in this video i'll compare both i will rank both and put the fit to box ratings cards on but what i'll also do is i'll do a little bit of a head to head at the end where i'll pitch both against each other to come out with my winner with the face bar champion of course, this head guard, superb, and it was a real shock to me when this head guard beat this head guard, the winning FG5000, a long time favourite of mine, but the small size of that, the vision of it, just beat this head guard, and so this is the champion. So on the X line version, you've got that synthetic leather. It's a very high quality synthetic leather as you can see as I'm going round make sure you have a look at the stitching on both of these both of these are really well made on the front there you've got that Icarus winged man of the logo of fly and then over here on the leather version you can see the grain of the leather and you can also see obviously that winged man there as well as I bring them round so you can see a real sort of comparison between the two. You've got the lace on the top. On the ears, you can see from the ears, you've got the ear donuts and the ear bars. Again, very, very similar. And as I bring that round, you've got padding at the rear. Uh, this one looks a little bit bigger, but it's not actually. They both feel about the same thickness. You've got the lace at the back as well. And then let's come to the bottom you can see inside so you can see that synthetic leather inside and obviously you can see the leather inside of this one as well both of these are large size my head is 22 and a half inches probably could fit in the medium or the large but I do find that the large um, is a better fit for me in there you have got a cage that is adjustable okay and also in there okay so it's a, a, a metal cage where you can an aluminium cage where you can apply pressure to the sides to get an even better fit and then at the bottom this is for me the part that I think is better on the leather I just think the thickness and the quality of the buckle on the leather is just a little bit better thicker and just seems more robust than on the synthetic leather of course i do prefer a clip like you've got on the fg 5000 i much prefer that clip i just think it's just a lot easier to get on and off but fly have gone sort of the route of clayto reyes and they've got a buckle at the bottom you know i can get on with it but i don't prefer that that fastening out the two this one i prefer over this one and um, let's just bring it round for you so you've got the final look on there and as you can see they're quite small 
when it comes to the size of them and I think that's a real feature of these head guards the fact that they are a small target okay so let me try them on I'll try it on the X-Line version first as always with these it's got the buckle at the bottom so I try and keep that in place I don't sort of attack, uh, move the, the buckle at the bottom because uh, I just find it's very awkward, especially if you're in the gym, you're in front of the mirror, you're trying to find the hole for that buckle. So what I try and do is I loosen it really off at the back. I leave that buckle at the preset place where is best for me. The top I've already done. And then what I do is I slide my head in. So slide my head in and underneath like so and then tie it at the back um, the vision on this is absolutely great it's one of the best things about this head guard is the vision people say with face bar head guards that the the bar can get in the way and yeah I can see the bar there but it's not as intrusive as the winning FG 5000 where you could really see the bar almost there in your eye line there as you can see let me just turn around Again, I'm looking straight there. I can see the camera, so we've got some great peripheral vision. At the back there, you've got the laces. And then let's just quickly go across the other way. Again, I'm going to look there, and I can still see the camera. So brilliant vision for those hooks coming in. It's comfortable around the head. Great sort of protection around there as well. And I've just left that in place. And when I would take it off, I'd literally undo the laces really pull at the laces at the back to get them as loose as possible and then slide oh a bit more <laughs> a bit more and slide it off okay that's the way i would do it same with this one this one obviously the leather version the leather already preset there and i'm gonna again open it up slide in and down and there let's just show you that vision again same vision I'm looking over there, I can see, I'm looking over there, I can see the camera, you can see the rear there, obviously I'd, I'd tighten that up, and then again, over this side, I'm looking there, I can see the camera. I do actually like the comfort in this one better, it just feels nicer around my head, the vision obviously is the same, the protection is the same, but it's just a matter of, I just think that that leather and the padding on this one just fit my head better. So let's take that one off as well. So the different colours that they come in for this one. These come in the black and the white. You can get them in red and white, blue and gold, white and silver and green and gold. Okay, the price of this, 155 English pounds. Price of this, 280 pounds so you have to decide whether or not the leather is worth that extra money over the synthetic leather bearing in mind your winning head guards are synthetic leather the only thing that i would say on this one that i would say uh, would be less durable would be the strap okay so if you're doing what i do which is leave the step the, the strap in place and just slip it on i don't think that that will be a problem i think that if i was using that all the time that that would be a weak point in the actual head guard because that there doesn't feel as durable as the leather version okay so you can sort of negate that by how you put it on um, and all it is is that opening up bigger at the rear with the laces so when i weighed them this one is 14.7 ounces this one is 13.8 ounces. It's not a lot. They're both really light head guards, but this one is a little lighter. So let me put the fit to box ratings cards up on the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a, uh, a round by round for you. So style. I do prefer the leather in the style, how it looks and how it feels. So for style, I have put 98 for the leather version 97 for the x line version so if that was a round i would say 10 points to the leather version nine points to the x line then we go on to comfort the comfort in the x line i do think it's a little bit stiffer it is lighter but i do think that the leather version for me feels com more comfortable around my head 
I've gone 97 comfort, 95 comfort for the X line. So if that was a round, I would say that's like a 10 8 round, a knockdown for the leather over the synthetic leather in the round of comfort. Durability, as I've touched on, the synthetic leather I think will last a tremendous amount of time. Uh, 95 is what I've scored it there, but with that leather strap and the leather on the leather version, I do think that the buckle feels sturdier and that that would score 97. So for durability, 97 for the leather, 95 for the synthetic leather x line. Uh, so in terms of the round, that would be a 10-8 to the leather version again uh, as if there's a knockdown happened for the leather version now on to vision they've both got great vision so i've gone 96 96 that would be a 10 10 round protection same great protection uh, same small target as well which is i really like the fact that it's a small head guard i hate head guards that are really big where the punch would miss but actually the glove gets that gets caught on the big size of the head guard. You don't get that with these head guards, either of them. So protection, 96-96. Again, a 10-10 round. And then value for money. And this is a big round for the synthetic because I've gone 97 at £155 and I've gone 94 at £200 and 80 English pounds. So that round is a big round for the X line, 10-7. So almost like in that final round, the synthetic leather on value for money causes two knockdowns. So the overall score in that would be 55 to the X line and 57 to the leather. Okay, so you can see there from the top scores, 96.0, a four star fit to box, head guard and then this one a five star 96.3 and so retaining and still the fit to box face bar head guard champion is the leather version for me if i had to choose i would go for this one obviously from what i've pointed out this one is a massive saving and you can see from those scores there's not really that much in it so I suppose it goes for what you like. If you like to have more money in your pocket, you will go for this one. If you want to, in my opinion, go for the better out of the two, then this one does shade it. But I have to say it is a shade. It's very, very close, as I've put there. That means that this head guard does now become the number one contender in the face bar list. So you've got the champion and then you've got the number one contender, both from Fly. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll give you a good look round both of these head guards so you can make the decision for you as to which you would prefer. Um, please, if you like the video, give it a like. If you like the channel, give me a subscribe. And if you've got any comments, please give them below. And I always try and answer as many comments as I can. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.